Amateur golfer Jerry Maguire is now lining up the shot of the mantle. If he makes a shot, he will be securing his spot in the Open Golf Championships and has a potential to compete in the International Golfing Cup this summer. He's lining up the shot now. This is a trip. He courses it as a par 9. And he's lined up. If there was a list of sports that don't work well as video games, I think golf would probably be at the top of that list. Like, it's been almost 40 years since the first video game for golfing came out, and since then we've had one, maybe two, good golfing video games. We sports, I'm looking at you. Nice birdie! If I had to guess why we don't have many golfing video games around, it's probably because golf itself is kind of a boring game. I mean, sure, golf with your friends and golf it have done a decent job at being entertaining, but that's mini golf, not fully fledged golf. Besides, when was the last time you saw EA Sports release a pro golfing game? Oh. Well, for those of us who dislike golf and also probably don't like EA Sports, the team over at Triband Studios decided to take golfing in a new direction with a video game that they're calling. What the what the Golf, or the game I'm simply referring to as the game that's probably more fun than golf but still challenging enough to be entertaining, takes the golfing mechanics from games like Golf Fit, the idea that golfing is in fact a sport, and throws everything else out the window. Or rather, hits it out the window with a golf club. Okay, the analogy is a work in progress. With the game scheduled to release sometime in 2019, and being someone who enjoys playing video games, I decided to look into What the Golf and put together a little bit of a review before it comes out. So, let's take a look at What the Golf and see if it is indeed a hole in one. Nathan, that poem is stupid. What are you doing writing that in the script? You are freaking. After watching their announcement trailer, I realized that I wanted to see more. Now, while their trailer did show off some pretty sweet demo footage, I wanted to experience the game for myself. And so, after some top secret hacking on their website, okay, fine, I just went to whatthegolf.com slash competition, I was able to get an inside look at just what this game has to offer. Honestly, I love the art style of this game. The simplistic designs remind me a whole lot of games like Donut County, and the models give the game a good amount of charm that could easily be lost if the designs were any more realistic. Couple that with the absolutely absurd gameplay and the peppy soundtrack, and you have a recipe for a lighthearted game that's a joy to play. Speaking of gameplay... After downloading each demo and subsequently playing through every single level a ton of times to get a good grasp and understanding of how the game works, I can subsequently say that Triband nailed this gameplay. For starters, the controls make a lot of sense. All you have to do is click, pull back, and release. You know, like those mini golfing games that I mentioned earlier. But each level uses the same mechanic in its own different way. When used with the car controls, for instance, the distance pulled back determines the car's speed, while using it on the soccer ball levels controls the distance that the soccer ball travels. Not to mention, every ball handles differently. Let's face it, a large square house is going to be a lot harder to hit than a car, yet much easier to direct than a person. And a two-dimensional golf ball on a planet is going to have gravity affecting it differently than a soccer ball on a mountain. Is that a mountain? Really tall hill? I'm not sure, honestly. What this means is that each level is going to play differently than every other level of the game. While the mechanics may be picked easy to pick up and learn, the levels can be as challenging as they need to be to keep the gameplay interesting. And this works incredibly well for what the golf. While I may not be purchasing this game the day it drops, not because I don't like the game, I honestly love the look of the game and it seems super promising. I'm just in college and I'm kind of broke. While I may not purchase this game the day that it comes out, I'm definitely planning on getting it. And when it does drop on, you 
know for a fact that I'm going to be checking it out. With all the hype that I've seen for the game both online and just by playing it for myself, I'm excited to see what this team's going to do. And now that you've seen a little bit about it, I hope that you're excited for it too. Now, if you want to learn more about the, uh, if you want to learn more about what the golf, um, I'm going to put a link to the Steam page down below, as well as a link to the website and Triband Studios website. Those will be down in the description. I'm hoping to start a series of this, so if you want to learn more, I guess try and subscribe for some reason. I don't know. Also, drop a link around here for the official uh, trailer that they dropped for because it's, it's a good trailer, and they use some clips from it in there. Go and check it out, watch it. So it's good. Yeah.